like Paygon, what does the future does the future like coin? Hello Crypto World, it's Crypto Rocko here and today we're talking about Litecoin and Litepay. So if you guys are in the cryptocurrency market, I'm sure you've heard that Litepay has been cancelled. Charlie Lee sent out a tweet confirming that. Before I get into this video guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. It only takes a second to scroll down and click the subscribe button. In this channel we talk about cryptocurrency news, breaking news, price prediction, technical analysis and the whole lot to keep you guys safe in the crazy world of cryptocurrency market so just scroll down and click the subscribe button if you enjoy this video so let's get into the videos the whole market has been going down i've done videos on my thoughts on the market and when when, when i see the market um going on that bull run or the market bouncing back or will it ever bounce back i've done a video on it today we're going to talk about litecoin litecoin have specially been going down and it's going down considerably it's gone down to six percent um, it went up massively in february time and that had a lot to do with the light pay news i did a video on it a uh, one of my most popular videos and litecoin went up massively during then it went up to i think the highest against is bitcoin uh, overall i think i'm right in saying that and um, it's, it's the highest it went up with against bitcoin and it's gone down and it's not just gone down because bitcoin is going up litecoin is actually going down against uh, the usd dollars and i know the whole market is um, going down currently but litecoin have specifically taken a big hit and the main reason for taking that hit is I think is light pay because people were really hyped up about it. People were expecting big news from from light pay and Litecoin, and it was a great project. If they had uh, delivered, it would have changed the game. It would have been changed the whole cryptocurrency market. So Charlie Lee, the um, the founder of Litecoin, uh, we all like Charlie Lee. I've, I'm a massive supporter of Charlie Lee, but I have been disappointed lately with this communication about Litepay and also this. But fair play to him, he's come out and um, apologised. He didn't need to apologise, but he has. Like everyone else, we got too excited about something that was too good to be true, and we optimistically overlooked many of the warning signs. I'm sorry, having hyped up this company and vowed to do better due dil diligence in the future. Um, so I appreciate that he's come out and talked about this because uh, his communication with uh, Litecoin um, Litepay previously wasn't good. So I thank him for communicating to that. And Charlie Lee actually liked one of my tweets. So I've got a special thank you for Charlie Lee. And this is Litecoin Foundation, their announcement about um making this announcement i'm going to go through this in that announcement it's a small article so i'll read the key bits so we wanted to inform you that a couple of days ago the litecoin foundation was contacted by kenneth osari and um, if you don't know who kenneth osari is is this guy the early internet companies were, were or were not working they generally weren't I'm not going to lie, I'm not a big fan of him, it's just, you know, some people you like, like the Binance CEO, I'm a massive fan of him, even though I can't pronounce the Binance CEO's name, I'm a big fan of him, I've done a video on Binance CEO, but this Kenneth guy, I'm not a big fan, if you want to watch his video, you can go and have a look at his video. So what happened, the the Kenneth uh, had, uh, the foundation had approached Kenneth regarding his less than transparent nature with the company and uh, with, with the concerns regarding the recent Reddit AMA. It was at this time Kenneth asked for more funds from the, uh, from the foundation. The foundation refused because they weren't happy with the progress and, and, and the, how Kenneth answered uh, the question so we are greatly disheartened that this saga has ended in this way we apologize so it's the same that they're sorry and they haven't done their due diligence litecoin was doing perfectly fine before the promise of light pay and we will continue to do so and um, i'll give my price prediction for litecoin in, um, at the end of this video but you know litecoin was doing great they hit the high 350s without light pay so it's it is bad i'm, I'm disappointed but i mean if you're if you watch our videos before, I'm a big fan of Litecoin and Litecoin will continue. Like they say, the ecosystem is far bigger than one company and is continually growing with support from many others with the market. Ready products joining the space and fulfilling their promises to make it easier for the world to use Litecoin. In the end, this is a valuable lesson for us to have learned. Litecoin and our community is as strong as it has ever been. We look forward to many great things to come. So I, I advise you to read this article if you want to find out more about Litecoin and Litepay. Litecoin, like I've said, they've got a massive following on, on Twitter. They've got this Litecoin fam going on. They're always posting on it. Even some of the Litecoin fans are a bit disappointed with this, understandably. 
I'm a Litecoin fan. I'm disappointed because they could have done a lot better. I got a really hyped type on this. Um, on Reddit, there are some angry messages. Some of them are probably uncalled for. Sorry for the swearing on this message, but the, it, it is not great how how it's been dealt. Um, so, so this is, I'm not going to read this, but again, that, that is just saying, you know, we shouldn't just trust uh, one person. We need to work together as a community. We shouldn't treat him like a godlike figure. I'm a big fan of Charlie Lee, but he has kind of not delivered as much and maybe he's he sold his coins as well. There are a few concerns with him. I, I still support him. He's still got my vote, but he needs to improve slightly going forward. Um, these are articles talking about the main article. I advise you to read that first, um, the announcement article first, and then if you want to do more research, talks about Litecoin falling 10% after Litepay closes. Um, Litepay just vanished really because people weren't expecting that. Maybe they could have called for earlier. And I think Kenneth Asari, uh, my main man, <laughs> is selling the company as well. Um, he's leaving and he's, this is shut down really. Um, Litecoin's 12-month performance talks about Charlie Lee's tweet, what I've just talked about. And um, yeah, that's it really. And there's a few more articles talking about it saying we got too excited. It's, it's, a, it's a big news and it's been covered by most of the key cryptocurrency newsletters and people are talking about it. And um, finally, someone is taking the opportunity to create light pay, uh, to create light, light. So they're just creating light pay. Good jobs. So it shows how excited people were that light pay was being created. But again, they're just, they've apologized. So what next? Lightpal is Lightpal the new Lightpay, and is it actually going to deliver? I haven't done my due diligence and research on Lightpal, so I'm not making that. Um, I'm not saying what's going to happen, but but Lightpal is trying to do something similar to Litecoin, and they have gone about it slightly better, as in they haven't said they haven't given us a date when uh, they're going to launch. So they're playing it kind of playing it cool slightly because they don't want influx of loads of people coming on. They're saying technically launching. Um, there's a bit of grey area, but I haven't done full research on it. So I'm not saying it's going to change the world. It's going to do this. It's going to do that. But let's see what happens if it, if it actually delivers or I'm, I'm sure there's I'm, I'm going to end it on a positive note. But this is something that's going on. So keep an eye, out, eye out for this. And maybe I'll do a future video when I've got more information about this company. So like power is coming a main platform website user system support system fact system so it's gonna it's coming soon so this is the uh, light power that, that we're talking about but again I'll, I'll talk about it in the future but this is something that's coming I don't know how much support they've got from Litecoin this is a, an article that I found no, sorry not an article it's just someone talking again don't don't think it's the truth take it with a pinch of salt it could be complete rubbish but this is saying that light power could be wrong and there's some big concerns with light power. Sorry, I've got a bit of a cold. So it's got um, big concerns with, with light power. So um, and, and he's saying that Satoshi said that Satoshi light is Charlie Lee, that he's going to do his due diligence. But he's now backing this company. So again, do your own research, guys. So there are some concerns with light power, but this is what's going on in the future. And um, finally, guys, Litecoin Foundation. These are businesses um that work with litecoin that take litecoin so it's not the end of litecoin guys litecoin is a big project it, it has got one of the best communities like i said on twitter and reddit people are working for litecoin so i'm still bullish on litecoin i am disappointed i, I am very disappointed actually to be to be honest because i was really looking forward to it but i'm still bullish on litecoin i'm not going to probably invest as much now but if it goes down below uh, my 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 i've got in mind if it goes below this i'll buy more if it, if it goes below that i'll buy more um like bitcoin and ethereum but i'm probably slightly less bullish now but i'm overall i'm still bullish on litecoin because litecoin went up to 350 dollars or over that um over 300 in near december january time without light pay it's just money came in and it went up so i mean i've talked about my previous video when i think the bull run will start when the bitcoin will go up so if bitcoin goes up if, whole, if the whole cryptocurrency market recovers the market cap which is very low now goes up then litecoin could potentially go up because people still like litecoin and it's one of the biggest cryptocurrencies it's fifth in the cryptocurrency market but there's talks about flattening litecoin going over bitcoin cash um I, I i'm not a fan of bitcoin cash but so that is a possibility as well so yeah that's my thoughts really my price prediction guys is still the same i'm bullish on litecoin um could it go to $500, $600 by end of the year if the whole cryptocurrency market recovers? Yes, 
very strong possibility if there's more adoption if P if there's company like what light pay tried to do like light pal um yes 100 percent like litecoin could go that far but there are some concerns about it you know there's other coins coming up like stellar or nano that i'm looking into a lot more so there are you know some competition like everything they need to deliver they need to create adoption they need to provide value and they could be great in the future so thank you very much for watching guys what's your thoughts guys do you think litecoin will recover recover what's your price prediction for litecoin for 2018 i'd love to hear your thoughts and um, someone have com commented on the speed of this video but i like to talk with high energy so feedback on the video as well what, what do you think what videos would you like me to do more in the future and i'm doing a litecoin giveaway half a litecoin giveaway like before so if you are interested in that guys subscribe to my channel and put your Litecoin addresses below, and I'll do. I'll be doing a Litecoin vid, vid, uh, Litecoin giveaway, half a Litecoin giveaway. That is. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've enjoyed it, smash that like button. Share it with your friends, family on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, or just word of mouth, and hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys. See you guys very soon with another great video. Thank you.